morning children ever felt like you have no one on your side that there is no justice obadiah is here to remind us that god is just that he brings down justice on those who hurt his children uncle koshi will tell us more good morning children obadiah is the shortest of the books in the old testament it contains only one chapter we don't know much about the writer whose name means servant of the lord the book is addressed to edom who are the descendants of esau distant kinsmen of israel rough wild and violent people edomites lived in craggy mountainous areas near judah and thought that no one could defeat them they ought to have been sympathetic to the plight of their cousins supportive even in battle however they scorned israel enjoyed and celebrated its losses and often raided the nation god's message to edom is this judgment is coming upon you you have hurt my children and i will punish you severely in fact obadiah is a message to all god's people and their enemies god will avenge the wrongs inflicted on his children how would you like to be a child of god you would never have to avenge yourself again god would be your father and he will deliver justice but there is a problem sin which keeps us from the fatherhood of god sin has to be punished by a just god the good news is this god crushed his son jesus for us all on the cross placing our sin upon jesus and transferring jesus his righteousness to us accepting the sacrifice of the just for the unjust all you have to do confess with your mouth that jesus is lord and believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead and you will be saved and just like that you will have god on your side forever your father let's pray thank you jesus that you have done it all there are no words we can say nothing we can bring to you that will make things better you have achieved it all on the cross and by being raised on the third day you are worthy lord of all praise all glory i pray that our children will call upon your name and express their trust in you and know that you will save them we bless you we love you in your precious name we pray amen Maybe you are confused about how you can call on God to become your father. What can I do? What words do I say? Can I assure you that it's not about you? Nothing you can do. Nothing you can say. It's all God. God has done it all through Jesus. The Bible assures us everyone who calls on his name will be saved. and that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is lord and believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead and you will be saved what's stopping you or me here is our chance to pray these words with the church as we enter the pastoral prayer segment 